cement. Come straight out. That's it. You. Uh. Is there something in your butt, sir? Yeah. A bullet that's permanently lodged in my ass that I received in the line of duty saving his ass. I can vouch for that. I'm gonna have to ask you to step behind the screen, please, sir. Gonna need to get a cavity search team, please. Oh, hell no! That ain't happening! No, 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 no! Uh, sir, I, you cannot step past this Don't point. Don't worry, I am never going past this point. See what you've done? I can't even leave town now. Sorry. Well, I guess I should get going. You say goodbye to your beautiful little ballerina for me. Tell yours I said hello to. Oh. Well, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, let's not say we did. Okie doke. I told you I never met anyone I wasn't friends with eventually. Bye, Van. Andy. Cavity search team? Yes, sir. Where the hell you guys been? Guys getting away. Great plaid suit, brown bag. Hurry! Sir, excuse me, sir. Uh, we uh, need to perform a cavity search, please. What? Uh, just take a few minutes. I have done nothing wrong. While strolling along life highway, on that road, somebody stomped. I heard a voice from heaven saying, You're standing out there alone. And I thought about King Jesus. Then I folded up my arms. Then I started up. For heaven, whoa, and I stepped in the same, whoa, I'm standing in the same. Everyone has their path in life, and this is more or less where mine started. My name is Norbert Albert Bryce, and I was an orphan. And they called me, and they called me. I like to think my parents loved me very much, but just didn't have the means to properly care for me. I can see them researching all the orphanages in the area, agonizing over their choices, trying to make sure their precious little boy was raised in the perfect environment. 